This is a collaboration between industry, academia, and government to study the seismic performance of non-structural components and systems. Not only are we looking at the earthquake performance, we're, we're as well looking at the fire following earthquake performance of these components. Non-structural components and systems are the ingredients and structures which are non, intended to be non-load bearing in a building structure. We've been in the planning for many years in this project. We received funding from the National Science Foundation in 2009. That was the springboard for uh, aggressive activity in terms of the design and the planning for the project. Um, over the last nine to 10 months or so, the building you see behind me has been under construction. Uh, the last couple of months, the latter few parts of those months, we've really been focused on the construction and installation of the interior and exterior non-structural components, which are the core ingredient to the study effectively. This is a five-story reinforced concrete frame-braced building. The building itself provides a structural skeleton and, and the dynamic environment to impose loads and deformations on the non-structural components in the building. We have a large shake table plat in here. It's about 25 feet by 40 feet. It's a stiff steel component. We can anchor our, uh, anchor our components onto that. Um, below that are a pair of actuators, hydraulic actuators, which work in a push-pull configuration. We have a very nice controller system as well, which uh, controls the hydraulic demand, which is pushed into these actuators. That allows us to replicate any earthquake motion that's been recorded in the world. We do have, as well, within this building, um, passive and active fire uh, systems. After an earthquake, uh, there are various sources of fire, and fire have been, has been in evidence in past earthquakes. This is the first time we'll subject a full-scale building structure to earthquake loads, and then subsequently fire loads. Partners like Hilti are critical to the success of a project like this. They bring to the project their expertise, both from the research and product perspective. They bring to us their knowledge regarding product installation, the type of products that are commonly used in the field. They bring as well their contributions to the regulatory area. It's a give and take relationship, really. Hilti has been invited as the sole provider of fastening technology in this non building non-structural component and system project. There is a wide range of applications within this structure where Hilti products are utilized. Hilti anchors are uh, installed at the roof of the structure for the cooling tower. The suspended ceilings are fastened with Hilti anchors. There's a full functional elevator within the structure which is supported by rails and those rails are fastened with Hilti anchors that are strain gauged. Um, the Surgical lights are supported by Hilti installation systems and the vertical and horizontal pipe runs are all supported by Hilti installations and Hilti fasteners. Now the through penetrations in the floor and in the walls of the structure are all supported by Hilti Firestop devices and products. Hilti is interested in learning in a typical building how the non-structural components uh, interact as a system and how that system interacts with the structure. Hilti does a lot of individual product testing. This research project provides us with a unique opportunity to test the entire system subjected to an earthquake. This is the only way to do better. Better products, better design codes, better and safer infrastructure.